Hi, my name is Zach Thompson, and today I'll be giving you a speech on El Nino and its effect on the world. Looking back, the last four summers have been hot, but not nearly as hot as 2016. According to a 2023 Routers article, 2016 was the hottest year on record. Yet 2023 is slated to be even more hot and even more destructive. This is due to an El Nino weather pattern. Today, I'll be informing you about El Nino patterns and their effect on not only businesses and consumers, but the world as a whole. El Nino patterns are warm weather weather patterns that cause destruction to crops, wildfires, and also can affect the global climate as a whole. To understand what El Nino, and what El Nino is and how it affects the world, one must have a full understanding of what it is and how it causes issues in our society. What is El Nino? So El Nino is a warm weather pattern originating in the Pacific. It's when the trade winds are blowing east to west or on the equatorial Pacific, and they're slow down and reverse course. As they reverse course, the air pressure changes, causing clouds, moist air, and overall warming of the sea. During an El Nino, the southern United States will get much more rain and be much more wet. While other parts of the United States, like Canada and California, are much drier. El Nino has many adverse impacts on the world as a whole. The 1982 to 83 El Nino was one of the worst in terms of total destruction. Without an upwelling of nutrient-rich cold water, the fish in the Pacific died. Whenever the water is warm, it drives the fish up to the top of the ocean, and this makes it much more easier for not only anglers, but also other birds, and also sharks and other prey animals. The stronger El Nino events will actually disrupt the climate of the Gulf and of the California area to make them longer for years. El Nino has many adverse impacts as, on the world as a whole, but it also has more impacts for businesses and the economy of the world. As you see here, this is the effects of El Nino on the real GDP growth. Indonesia and South Africa, where the El Nino originates, that are hit most with the drought conditions, you can see the drop in their GDP versus the ones who get more rain, Mexico and Thailand, who get a rise due to their better crop output. In the aforementioned 1982 and 83 El Nino, the fish catches were reduced from Chile all the way to Alaska. Researchers estimate that if the El Nino of 2023 lasts as long, if not longer, than the 2016 and is more powerful, that the cost could reach upwards of $3 trillion. Understanding the impact on businesses will not only benefit the businesses, but benefit the consumers because they can prepare for the higher prices and premiums they must pay for their goods. Understanding El Nino can be easy, but once you understand what it is, it only becomes scarier. El Nino is a warm weather pattern that causes massive effects on not only businesses and consumers, but the world as a whole. It takes away our food sources, causes much more shortages, it causes flooding like you see in California as we speak. But next time you take a walk outside and immediately start sweating, just know that you're not alone and that the businesses are sweating even more.